Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, today in our lives we say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. But do we know what does act what does that actually mean? Do we even have the strong faith that the people had before us? No, we really don't have that. We Muslims think that we are actually Muslims by just saying those words, but that's not it. We have to believe in Allah firmly and not like a zigzag zigzag. So let's go to the story when Firaun threatens the magicians. The magicians spoke out boldly to Firaun. We will not prefer you over the clear signs that have come to us, nor over him who has created us. Therefore, do your worst. You can punish us only in the present life. They continued forthrightly. We have put our faith in our Lord, so that He may forgive us our sins and the magic He has forced us to practice. Better is the reward of Allah and more lasting. We trust that He will forgive us our sins, since we are the first who have believed. It was unthinkable. These masters of magic, this elite group who should be the last to submit to the signs of a mere slave, were fearlessly professing their faith in the God of Musa alayhi assalam. Firaun could not imagine such insolence from his subjects. The chiefs of the royal court challenged him. Will you allow Musa and his people to make mischief in the land and to reject you and your gods? They were right. The threat to Firaun's power had grown too menacing. It could no longer be tolerated. Firaun vowed then and there to wipe out every last trace of Prophet Musa's teaching. In the days that followed, new waves of terror were unleashed from the royal palace against the children of Israel. In this story, we see that these magicians who were with the Fir'aun, the Fir'aun said, Do you believe me as God? The magician said, No. He said, Now the Fir'aun will say, I will kill you. I will chop your hands and legs from opposite sides. But they had the, they had the firm belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believed the Lord of Musa alayhi wasallam and Harun alayhi wasallam. This is how powerful they had the faith with them. So, but we Muslims, if someone said to us, accept me as your God, we would say no. But then if the person said, I will kill you, you would of course say yes, because you fear the life of yours. But we have to keep it. We have to say no, that this is not our God. But we Muslims think for the, for the worldly life, but not for the hereafter. This was our short reminder for today. We will say we will talk about the next reminder for the next video insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.